Problem three for this little layman, cellular biology. Um, can you just tell us about irreducible, this is your, your sort of Thing. <laughs> signal concept, irreducible complexity, and the story of the mouse trap. Sure. Uh, well, might start. Um, might be good to start by saying that Darwin and folks in his day didn't know much about the cell. Right. They had crummy microscopes that looked like a little piece of jelly, and they knew nothing about molecules. And we now know that life. Tiny and elementary also meant simple to them. So, yes, so biologically that's, that's correct. Oh. So like jello or a jelly, they thought it might just bubble up from the sea. But modern science in the past 70 or so years has shown that this, the cell is run by molecular machines, real machines made of molecules and really sophisticated ones. We have, there are machines that act as propellers, machines that act as trucks to bring supplies from one side of the cell to the other side of the cell. So when you, when you magnify these days, we don't know enough about cells to know that they're not little blobs of jello. That's right. You get inside a, a cell and you're looking at a city. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's right. It's got electrical uh, apparatus. It's got vehicles. It's got information. It's got all sorts of things. And the problem uh, with irreducible complexity is if you think about it, machines are made of different parts, say a lawnmower. It's got a you know, blade, it's got a motor, wheels, stuff like that. But Darwin always insisted that his theory had to work by numerous successive slight modifications. It had, had to be very, very gradual. But if you try to build a machine like a lawnmower or a mousetrap, uh, I like the mousetrap because yeah. that's so simple, even I can get it in my yeah, head. It, yeah, right. just think of a mechanical mousetrap. It's got a number of different pieces. Now, if you wanted to build something like that slowly and have each, per, uh, each, each part or each intermediate work, you've got a big problem because it needs all of the parts to work. It needs a spring, a wooden base, a couple other metal parts. And I, uh, just to capture that concept, I invented the phrase irreducible complexity because it's complex can't reduce it or Take else. Take away one piece and it just doesn't and work. And the mousetrap doesn't work. Right. Yeah. Therefore, it could not, the mousetrap. Take away one piece from one of these fantastically complicated machines in a cell, right. it doesn't function and therefore could not have conferred an adaptive advantage. Right. And it okay. could not be built gradually and uh, improving each step of the way. It